Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, we are going to solve an important digital signal processing problem. The design of a low pass FIR filter using a window method. In the given problem, a low pass filter has to be designed with the following frequency response. HD of omega will be equal to e to the power of minus j2 omega for omega less than pi by 4 and HD of omega will be equal to 0 for omega ranging between pi by 4 and pi. We need to determine the coefficient HD of n and the impulse response H of n. The window function is rectangular window which is defined as omega r of n will be equal to 1 for n ranging between 0 to 4 and omega r of n will be equal to 0 for other values of n. So finally, we need to find the frequency response of the resulting FIR filter. Here the step 1 is to find the desired frequency response. We are given with HD of omega will be equal to e to the power of minus j2 omega when omega is less than pi by 4 and hd of omega will be equal to 0 when omega is between pi by 4 and pi. This represents the desired frequency response of a low pass filter. Step 2 is to defining the parameters. Here we are designing a FIR filter with length m is equal to 5. Since n is ranging between 0 to 4, so n can take the values as 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this is having 5 values. That's why the length of FIR filter will be equal to m is equal to 5. So we can write tau is equal to m minus 1 divided by 2 that will be equal to 5 minus 1 divided by 2. So we can say tau is equal to 2 and cutoff frequency omega c will be equal to pi by 4. Step 3 is to define the unit sample response. The unit sample response hd of n can be given as sin omega c of n minus tau divided by pi of n minus tau for n not equal to tau and hd of n will be equal to omega c by pi for n equal to tau. Now substituting the values we will get hd of n will be equal to sin pi by 4 into n minus 2 divided by pi into n minus 2. This is for n not equal to 2 and hd of n will be equal to pi by 4 divided by pi. So this will be equal to 1 by 4 which is equal to 0 0.25 for n is equal to 2. Step 4 is to calculate hd of n for all the values of n from 0 to 4. Let us calculate 1 by 1. For n is equal to 0, we can write hd of 0 will be equal to sin pi by 4 into 0 minus 2 divided by pi into 0 minus 2. Therefore, hd of 0 will be equal to sin minus pi by 2 divided by minus 2 pi. So, if we calculate this value, hd of 0 will be equal to 0 0.1592. So, this is the value for hd of 0. Now, for n is equal to 1, hd of 1 will be equal to sin pi by 4 into 1 minus 2 divided by 
pi into 1 minus 2. So this will be equal to sin minus pi by 4 divided by minus pi. Therefore, the HD of 1 will be approximately equal to 0 0.2251. For n is equal to 2, since n is equal to tau, we can directly write HD of 2 will be equal to pi by 4 divided by pi. So, we will have HD of 2 is equal to 0 0.25. For n is equal to 3, we can write HD of 3 is equal to sin pi by 4 into 3 minus 2 divided by pi into 3 minus 2. So, HD of 3 will be equal to sin pi by 4 divided by pi. So, HD of 3 will be approximately equal to 0 0.2251. Now, for n is equal to 4, we can write HD of 4 will be equal to sin pi by 4 into 4 minus 2 divided by pi into 4 minus 2. So, HD of 4 will be equal to sin pi by 2 divided by 2 pi. So, HD of 4 will be equal to 0 0.1592. Therefore, we can write HD of n will be equal to 0 0.1592 0 0.2251, 0 0.25, 0 0.2251 and 0 0.1592. Step 5 is to apply the window function. The window function is rectangular with value omega r of n will be equal to 1 for n ranging from 0 to 4. Therefore, h of n will be equal to hd of n multiplied with omega r of n since omega r of n is equal to 1 so we get the same sequence as h of n is equal to 0 0.1592 0 0.2251 0 0.25 0 0.2251 and 0 0.1592 and this is the impulse response. Step 6 is to observe the symmetry. We can observe that h of n is symmetric since h of 0 is equal to h of 4, h of 1 is equal to h of 3 and h of 2 is at the center. This confirms that the filter is a linear phase symmetric FIR filter with odd length. If we say odd length, which means m is equal to 5. The next step is to find the frequency response of FIR filter. Now, the frequency response of FIR filter is given by h of omega is equal to h of 2 plus 2 into h of 0 cos 2 omega plus h of 1 cos omega that is multiplied with exponential to the power of minus j 2 omega. Now let us substitute the values h of 0 which will be equal to 0 0.1592 h of 1 that is equal to 0 0.2251 and h of 2 that is equal to 0 0.25. Therefore, we will get h of omega is equal to 0 0.25 plus 2 into 0 0.1592 cos 2 omega plus 0 0.2251 cos omega that is multiplied with exponential to the power of minus j 2 omega. Therefore, 
h of omega will be equal to 0 0.25 plus 0 0.3184 cos 2 omega plus 0 0.4502 cos omega that is multiplied with exponential to the power of minus j 2 omega. So finally, we can say this is the frequency response of the designed FIR low pass filter and this is the impulse response of the given filter. This is about a problem to design FIR filter using rectangular window. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.